Hello, hello, and welcome back to Planned on Planning. Here we are in my personal planner, and I am just ready to get this week started or to get this week laid out so I can get started because the days are going by so freaking fast. It's so hard to keep up with everything, to be very honest. Now, granted, I've done most of my shopping. I'm, you know, writing my list, checking it twice, all that wonderful stuff. But I know it is very, very uncharacteristic of this time of year, but here are my stickers that I'm using. So I thought this had a bit of like a watermelony color that's going on with the side to side. So, and I actually came across some watermelon uh, washi. I know it's crazy. I know it's wild, but everything just works so wonderfully together. And I thought, hey, why not? Like, winter is not real down here in um, sunny South Florida. So let's not stick to the stereotypes. So I am going to add my washi right to the top of my page. And I'm also going to add the yellow as well. There we go. Because I have the space. Bam. And then we're gonna do on the other side of the page. And I am going to put it in there. Now, when I do this, I don't stick it too tight because I want to make sure that I don't get any bubbles. So when I know everything's all nicely pressed down and ready to go, then and then only do I press down my um, inner part right there. So now I'm going to add my yellow. And I'm also using this frame out my days so here we go and i think this oh, is just so cute they're like little lemons i don't know if you can tell but they're just adorbs see they're like little lemon lemon drops and i'm just gonna add that right above the number the day the number of the day because i want that still to be visible and then we're just gonna cut it. Alrighty. I'm just gonna go across here as well, doing the same thing. And I'm adding it just above the number of the day. Now, yes, it does slightly overlap um, the watermelon washi, but it's okay. They don't have a conniption. And then I'm just going I'm using the second line from the bottom as my guide to where I want to place my washi to start off my week. And I'm just going straight across. Bam. Make sure everything is seen. And I'm doing that for all of my days just using the bottom going straight across And then on this one, I'm just using the bottom of the page. Still kind of worked out with my method of using the second to last line. This looks so cute. To be completely honest, you know, not to toot my own horn or anything, but toot, toot. I'm gonna go across. Here we go. 
And I'm, tr I'm trying not to go as fast as I normally would because you know I just want to get to the stickers. But let's be honest, the stickers are indeed my favorite part. But. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna go all the way across with this notes. Bam. All right, so we're all washed out now. Let me just cut the excess over here. Bam. Put my scissors back. All right. So as you can see, we have a pretty good foundation to start from. And here are the stickers that we're using. There you go, so you can see a little better. So I'm just gonna be adding them to our planner. And we are love the weekend because you know it's the weekend. What it's more to say about it? Some great little inspo for the week. I know it says today, but you know you can look at it each day. Today is the perfect day to be happy. Like it's pretty kind of awesome. All right, so since I have two free boxes to write here, I'm gonna start with a solid. Normally, I would start because usually there's like an inspo box here, another inspo, and then you have some lines. But I usually put the inspo on the bottom and then work my way up from there. But being as how I have two places to write, it does get kind of funky to write down here in the corner. I've learned, you know, time is definitely a great teacher. So... I'm going to add them a little further up because, like I said, it just makes it a tad bit easier to write. Okay. And this is where it always gets, like, ugh for me. All right, I'm going to do a plan ahead on this one. And then I'm gonna add my next box and I'm gonna put a remember. Bam. Bam. You know, if you have great artistic skills, this is a great area to like put something there. Then I'm going to add, actually I'm gonna add lines over here. We notice how we have some lines down there. And I'm putting that right in. Oh, I'm not catching the corner. There we go. Putting that right in. And then I like to usually put a this week at the top. Hello. Bam. So the important normally goes over to my Friday. Because it's just like a reminder. Like, don't forget to do this. Don't forget to do that. Wow. All right. And then I like some little art deco inspo on this side. There we go. So pretty. All right. And now we start decorating our week. How do we start Mondays? With cover. So, coffee time. Ow. Oh, look, have a thankful heart. I like that for a Sunday. It says, stay humble, work hard. That sounds like some great info for a Thursday, and it matches what's there. So, I think that works out perfectly. Hustle. So, I'm going to put that right here. Midweek. On my Wednesday, let's get some top priorities going for my Monday. So just a nice little rundown of the things I have to focus on and pay attention to this week. A nice little be kind. And then I think this is great for Saturday. I mean for a Friday, one day at a time. Just a nice little reminder. Like, you know, take your time, be easy. 
And it says good things take time. How about that? I like it. Good things take time. All right. Now, I'm going to use these on the bottom to get some of my checklists going. You know I love me some checklists. Now, what I do is because, as you can see, it doesn't fit in the area. These are more so made for happy planners, and clearly I don't have a happy planner. But I'm still going to use the stickers. I'm not going to let that stop me. So, here we go for our top priority. And then we're going to list some things out on Tuesday that we need to take care of, that we need to do, things like that. And then Wednesday, we're going to get our hustle on and focus on a couple of things. And then Thursday, we're going to make sure those things are in the process of being done, if not completed. Hello. And because Saturday is usually my busier day because it's the weekend, of course. And then there are usually one or two things that I need to take care of on a Friday. So, here we have my upcoming week, the 10th through the 16th, uh, nicely done and completed, and it didn't take me a ton of time. I think the colors really, really came together. This watermelon color, so I matched it with watermelon, and then I have my green and yellow, so everything looks really, really cute together, if I do uh, say so myself, to my own horn, to to boo. All right. Nonetheless, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to contact me. Um, don't forget to subscribe, but you can leave a comment below. Share the video if you like. I would appreciate it, to be honest. And if you don't feel comfortable, um, you know, making your question to the public, f feel free to contact me on by email or which would be really cool, is once you follow me on social media, you can go ahead and click the button to send me a message. And we can get to chitting and chatting that way and talk about whatever it is that you want to talk about. But in the meantime, in between time, I will check you later. All right. Bye, guys.